Cam and Claire are talking to bed. Yeah. Claire has a meeting that she has to go to. Yeah. And Cam is having really bad ear pain and he needs to go to the doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Claire, uh, she's talking to him. She knows his breakfast order so mm-hmm. she can get breakfast for him. Mm-hmm. She says the attraction is growing and it's a relief for her that they're getting uh, moving forward in that area. Yeah, yeah. Claire is used to being independent and it'll be different with them living together. Yeah, I, I just want to give a quick recap of last episode about Claire. I think she's weird. Right. Right. I think she's weird. Um, I don't think she had a serious relationship at all. Right. We get on the other lady. I forgot her name, but like the girl, the girl, Emily, Emily, we get on Emily on never being in a relationship, be having flings and things like that. But I think Claire, she's awkward to the point where she's like, yeah, I'm independent. Yeah. I think that just me. I don't think you really had a serious relationship because even some things that they was talking about last episode about, hey, do you see Cam trying? Uh-huh. He touched your shoulder. You don't acknowledge that. He he, he, he give you compliments. You don't acknowledge that. You're kind of leaving him out there. <coughs> you kind of leave him out there to drown. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And it wasn't until near the end of the episode she begins to see that, oh, he's really trying. And then she actually be like, you know what? I think it's time for me to try. Even though I may not feel it, I need to try it. Now, to go back to this episode... This is the quickest um, heel turn, face turn I've seen throughout this show. I've never disliked the couple and then realized that, oh my gosh, the reason why I don't like the couple is because the show is feeding me fake food, processed food. You get what I'm saying? They supposed to give us, or allegedly, they are trying to feed us the Becca and Austin uh, relationship. But that's not real, guys. What's real is actually Claire and Cam. When you bring two people together who don't know each other, right, and tell them that they're married, sometimes it won't click as quickly as Becca and Austin. Actually, most times it won't click as as quick as Becca and Austin and things like that. What's going to happen is I need my attraction to grow. I need my romance to grow. I need my comfortability to grow. So I actually going to do the actual practical things such as what is your breakfast order? What is the things you need? Hey, let me help you with that doctor order. Things that you basically like, I don't know this person. So these are actually the real baby steps, which actually I'm afraid of what I said in the early part of the season to where I, I think they ain't going to make it. I think these people could be the only ones that going to make it out of the show. Them and, and Austin and Becca. Okay. Because I'm like, this is actually the real, the real pace of how people who don't know each other, uh, who gets married one day randomly. You know, Uh anything you want to share on them? Nope. Let's keep going. Yep.